Hi guys, welcome back. It's Nicole with Honest Try TV and today we are making the sirloin and roasted garlic pan sauce recipe from HelloFresh. Give me just a second. I just realized I have neither the recipe nor, nor the sirloin. Just a minute. And back. Okay, so if you recall from our earlier video when we did the unboxing of our HelloFresh box when it was delivered to the house, the moment that we took the asparagus out, it was rotten. So um, I forgot to call them and complain about that. But uh, I'll do that. I'll try to remember to do that after this video. But obviously there's going to be no asparagus. So I have um, frozen vegetable stir fry um, in my freezer. So I will just use that in lieu of. So that cuts our prep dime down quite a bit because now all we have to do is cut these fingerling potatoes in half and then roast them along with, I guess, the garlic. Question mark, before I roast the garlic, let me make sure I'm going to actually use it because, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm really lazy when it comes to garlic. Okay, let me just understand how this was working. Okay, place garlic foil packet. On same okay and then I roast it middle rack uh, blah, 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 blah. leave uh, leave potatoes and garlic roasting add da, 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 da. my just roasting okay once garlic is done carefully transfer to a cutting board and mash globe with a fork until smooth okay that doesn't sound oh I'm making garlic butter melt Two tablespoons of butter in the pan. Add the garlic and then cook for 30 seconds. I don't know guys, I don't know. I know I'm supposed to follow the recipe, but I'm hungry. All these extra steps, I just don't know if it's worth it. <sighs> okay, whatever, I'm gonna follow the, I'm gonna try to follow the instructions. I'm fundamentally lazy when it comes to garlic. I just don't think it's worth it. But <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, guys. All right. Okay. Let's 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 do what we're supposed to do. Um, I need to preset my oven to 400, and then we're gonna start slicing up these tomatoes. Tomatoes. Jesus, help me. Potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna slice up these potatoes. And then we're going to get our, our garlic into a piece of foil um, and drizzle it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, asparagus is out, so the only other thing I have to do is thinly slice the chives, and we'll be good to go. So let's get that done. Let's do this. Oh, I left it in the bag. I don't know why I did that. I left the already super mushy asparagus in the bag and it looks really gross now. now let's just throw this no man down. There we go. Let's throw this asparagus away because that's gross. Some of these potatoes are looking pretty disgusting too. Look at that. That's disgusting. Ew. It hasn't even it's only been a couple of days. Come on. Hello Fresh. Like this produce is looking terrible. Terrible. Alright, so I'm supposed to take my potatoes and how lengthwise. Alright, peel garlic. Where's my just one one piece of garlic, right? Just one. Oh, look at that. That looks so bad. I'm going to toss that in the trash. This one also looks pretty rough. Into the trash you go. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, we don't have a lot of ingredients left. Okay. Um, let me just... Actually, I'm not going to... I'm not going to pound it. Just going to peel it nicely. And so, drizzle of olive oil, there we go. 
salt and pepper, and cinch into the pack. Yep, I'm salt. I don't know what I'm doing. What is what does pinch into the pack mean? Uh, what am I doing? Cinch into a packet. Oh, boom. Packet. Oops. Go off. I'll go get them in a minute. What else am I doing? How potatoes trim, discard woody bottom ends. Meh, they're all right. Do I have woody bottom ends? I guess a little bit. Not really, though. Meh, it's fine. And then the chives. Toss potatoes, oil, salt, pepper. Um, okay, let's do that. My prep is just about done. Actually, let me go ahead and do the chives because then I will, my prep will be completely done. We can just move this cutting board completely out of our life and move on. Okay, wait, some of these chives are looking kind of not so nice. Let's get rid of those soggy, sad ones. See that? Look at him. You see that, that, that the little just, and he's all dark and mushy? It's not cute. We also have a little soggy, sad one over here. Look at that. It's just bad looking. Okay, the rest of our chives are looking nice and cute. So, let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I identified another soggy, sad one. Soggy, sad, but it's not the whole thing. Honestly, this isn't the whole thing either. Just cut off this end. This whole thing, though, is like gone. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, let's just chop you. Prep work's done, so I'm gonna move this cutting board off to the side. I'm not gonna need this for a second. All right, so let's bring our little potatoes over. Hello, friends. Get you uh, turned. Oops. Zaire says hello, world. Hello. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn that that far. Sorry about that. Let's get you back over here so you can see. All right, there we go. I'm just going to spread these out just a smidge. Yeah, so I've just got to go a little, 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 little ways more. Let me just toss this a little bit. I'm all nice and covered. Salt. Pepper. And where's our little friend? Oh, there he is over there. Awesome. Boom. Garlic. All right. So this is ready to go. And once I reach 400, I'm at 275 now, I will pop it into the oven for 15, no, psych. I will pop it into the oven for, Let's read these directions carefully. Blah, 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 15 minutes. Once I uh, have roasted fish, remove, and then add asparagus, which I don't have, uh, and then return, and then cook for 10 to 12 more minutes more. So basically, we're going to do this for 25 minutes total. 25 minutes. Lord, this is a long time. I'm hungry. I hope I can make it. I, I'm skeptical. <laughs> I'm definitely going to probably have to get a snack because, I mean, the oven's not even hot enough yet. And then once I get it in there, I still got to go for another 20 to 25 minutes. Mm -mm -mm. So in the meantime, in between time, we'll set this aside. Uh, let's work on everything else. So, um, our steaks, we're going to pat dry 
season salt and pepper. We're going to drizzle some oil in a pan on medium high and then we're going to cook for about four minutes on each side. And then we're going to transfer it to a cutting board to rest. So it's only going to take us about 10 minutes to do the steaks. So I'm going to wait because otherwise my steaks will be cold by the time I get anywhere close to being prepared to make the sauce to go on them. So there's no point in starting until we're at least 10 minutes into the potatoes. So I have long suffering. So I'm, I'm going to pause the video and I will be back once my oven is hot. My potatoes are in for at least 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to start in on these steaks. In the meantime, I'm going to get, I'm going to get some applesauce or something. Hey guys, I'm back. So I have our steaks here. Um, I already towel dried them off and I applied salt. And now I'm going to put some pepper and go ahead and put them in our pan, which is on medium high heat with olive oil already in the bottom. I'm just applying some cracked pepper. And let's go ahead and get these in. Come on, friends. Toss it in there. You know, just lay them on down. And we're gonna we're gonna cook them for about five minutes. I need to apply salt on this side too. And pepper. Oops. Whew, I'm getting killed. I'm getting annihilated. This is why you salt and pepper your meat before you put it in the pan so that the grease won't destroy you <laughs> all right there you go so uh yeah we're gonna go for four minutes on each side might be three actually i don't know we'll see oh yeah i'm pregnant i can't okay four minutes and then we will flip all right we're back and we're ready to flip. And I don't have a spatula. So we're going to use these tongs. Come on, friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. I'm going to go for about three minutes on this side. And then we'll transfer to the cutting board. And let it rest. Okay, and we're back. So I'm going to remove our steak. I'm going to put them on the cutting board. And there we go. And I'm going to set them over here to rest. In the meantime and in between time, I'm going to turn this down low um, because now we need to make our sauce. So first, I don't want it to get cold, but I, I don't need it that hot. So I'm going to let her chill for just a second. Actually, no, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. I'm going to let her chill for just a second and calm down. Um, we've got our steaks resting. Hello, friends. Pan potato is about to come out, so I'm just going to make space for that. Put that right here. And then we, um, I already have two tablespoons of butter cut. Whoop. Tablespoons of butter cut. So we can start working on our demi glaze for the steaks. But let me go ahead and get our potatoes. Our potatoes don't look ready. What the world? All right, potatoes, potatoes don't look done. Um, so we're going to just leave them in there for a little while longer while we work on this demi glaze. I did, however, get out our good friend, Mr. Garlic. So according to the instructions, we're supposed to 
Uh, carefully transfer it to a cutting board and mash the clove with a fork. Um, so let's, let's get our little friend out of here and let's free him. Free him and let him be mashed. Okay, so garlic is looking roasted. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, that's my timer saying that the potatoes should be ready, but they're not. I mean, there's been like zero browning going on there, so I'm mashing this. <laughs> mashing this. There you go. I hope that's enough to, to make magic happen. So next, um, we've mashed it until smooth. Oh, well, whatever. We're going to add our two tablespoons of butter to the pan with the garlic. So let's bring our two little friends back over here. So we don't need it to be that high. Let's just scooch you in there for what you're worth. going to add the demi glaze and a third of a cup of water and then simmer until um, it's thickened. Wow and then we're going to stir in another two tablespoons of butter and any resting juices from the steak. Jeez that's intense. It's a lot of butter. All right let's go ahead and mix in our demi glaze. Two packages of beef demi glaze going in. Ooh, that's thick white chocolate. Wow. Stir it all together. And it says to Add two more tablespoons of butter. Here we go. Salt and pepper. I gotta taste that before I see it. I did say the resting juices from my steaks, my resting steaks. So there's, there's that for what it's worth. I just took another peek at the uh, potatoes and they still haven't browned, you guys. I don't know, like, here's the picture, right? Here's what they look like coming out in the picture, right? You see that browning? I don't have any of that, <laughs> like not at all, so. whatever yeah we're basically done I'm gonna taste this see if it needs any salt or pepper tastes good to me tastes fabulous I'm gonna bring you back over here and we're gonna slice up our steaks oh no my steaks are looking well done no no Uh, I'm disappointed. I overcooked my steaks. I knew I should have gotten my three minutes. I should have listened to my gut. Or you can't see it well. You see that? That's what I was going for. That little bit of browning on them. And whereas before they were looking like very, very, very pale. Very white. Very not cooked. So yeah, we've got that done. So toss potatoes with half the chives, which we have in a bowl here. So let's go ahead and just grab a whole handful of these bad boys. Top steak with steak and potatoes with sauce and garnish potatoes with remaining chives. Okay, I'm not gonna do all this. Let's go ahead and get this plated. And we're gonna do some more. Chives on the potatoes. 
I'm missing my vegetables. I'll get that handled at a later date. <laughs> but here is basically the finished product minus the asparagus because the asparagus was bad upon arrival. So this is my uh, sirloin and roasted garlic pan sauce. Da, 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 da. She cute. She real cute. Look at that. She real cute. So okay guys, we'll be back with the review to let you know how it turned out. Bye. Hey guys, we're back. So we just finished the sirloin and Jason on a scale of one to ten, what did you think? Six and a half. I give it a six. Okay. Because I didn't like the sauce and without the sauce being on point, it's just potatoes and steak. I mean, seasoned with olive oil, salt, and pepper. So the sauce kind of makes or breaks it. Plus, our asparagus came like whatever. Came, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> came not rotten. Spoiled. spoiled. It, the, the asparagus came spoiled, so half the dish was missing to begin with. So, um, there's potatoes we got left for leftovers, but yeah. And I still have two steaks, which I will prepare a different way um, for, you know, later on. But that's that's our general review. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions, concerns, recommendations. And thank you again for joining us for another episode of Honest Try TV.